better we've got water back in there now that plant is these plants have died they don't get any water good morning good afternoon and good evening this is dragonfly gamer uk and we are back in station ears in the last episode we set up our little table and our fridge and our microwaves so we could cook up some food and uh, we got a few more hydroponics planted up um, and we did a few of the bits outside uh, in this session oh, we got our, our goggles which allow us to go mining in this session I think I need to try and expand my solar power energy is now becoming an issue I'm burning a lot of coal just trying to keep my battery charged so I think I need to sort out my energy but what I really want to do first because it's bugging me is just clear these city ground bits of earth from inside my base that was a problem with building some of the frames while underground so there we go um, I do want to push my base out as well, so how many wide am I here now? One, two, three, four. So I'll maybe just push out two or three that way. Um, to allow space to expand. We need to get some cooling in here or some air conditioning in here. I need to get a control uh, controller set up for my grow light. Because the plants don't like being in dark air light all the time. They've got to have a cold, uh, dark cycle. Um, and like I say, I want to get solar panels set up. So let's before we do all that, how are we doing for food, water? Is it okay? Battery power. I need a new battery. Tank. Oops. Walk through the door, not into the door. Let's vent our tank. Uh, oxygen is fine. You know what? Just be on the safe side. It's air tank critical. And they're okay, filter's okay, jetpack's okay. Right. Let's go and... Have a look at what we need... ...to expand our base, what we've got available. So I am going to use steel, so I need to find where I put all that steel last time. Don't really leave that out. Any steel in there? No silicon, that's all I put in, doesn't I? Um, what's in here? I'd also like to improve my um, equipment, but that will have to wait. Uh, 85 grams of steel. So let's get steel out of here. There it is. So stop that now. Um, if you like the games I'm running, I'm also running a the Infected series at the moment, uh, which is like a horror, uh, zombie vampire, um, post-apocalyptic games. I quite enjoy that. Again, you start with not a lot, but it's like you know, like say it's starting out in the woods building. Uh, a shelter and weapons and tools and forges and building up from there. Um, yeah, it's another good game. What am I after? I am steel. Steel frames. I don't want eight of these at least. Um, I haven't got any up here, have I? No, but I've got some steel sheets. That'll be useful. Save me printing some of them. What else have we got? Uh, that should be okay. Yeah, the infected, yeah, so um, you, you, you have to go into towns and um, ransack buildings to get tech pages to unlock technology so you can do things. Um, and the towns are infested with zombie vampires. I think you call them vampies in the game. Um, which can make life challenging. Especially if you get multiple of them attacking you at once. It just... Yeah, they can quite quickly knock you out. Um, but I also like the Icarus game. Um, also made by Rockerworks, the people that make this game. Um, that's another really fun game to play. And again, you get dropped on the planet and drop ship. But instead of being in a space suit, um, you're an environmental suit because you can't breathe the atmosphere. But it's not too dissimilar to this in some ways. Uh, but in other ways, it, it, it is quite different. Um, the tech is a lot different, the tech tree is a lot different. In this game you just 
you're relying on upgrading your printers to get technology in Icarus you've got to work um, at things like you know you could do things within the game building things um, exploring uh, mining um, attacking animals or hunting animals to gain experience how many of these guys we could need 24 of these um, and that then you get gives you points which you've got to spend to buy technologies um, and there's four tiers starting at tier one which is very basic stuff all the way up to tier four which is quite advanced um, and you've got to you know unlock electricity and guns and things like that and, and, and Icarus it's a good game it is a good game the graphics on are really good um, the bears on it are horrendous they kill you at the drop of a hat especially early game I was running a series uh, before my laptop died Jeez, I'm out of power again so I mean I need to sort my power I'm cool I've got there 50 50 so let's just um, split in half split in half yeah this is why I've got to get solar sword out because I can't constantly be feeding uh, that with coal I will run out of coal eventually right so let's expand our base so I said I was going to go two this way Uh, we have to mine that little bit out there. Uh, da, da, da. Just so we don't get the situation we just had inside where the floor's sticking through. Let's mine down a bit. I am just about to double seal this with iron sheets, sorry, steel sheets, so you'll not see how badly I'm filling this in. Okay, I can go back to there. I need my tool belt. And my welder. Let's weld this up quickly. I need to get myself the arc welder, which is uh, in the tool manufacturer. It's just a better welder. You don't have to worry about running out of gas, it works on the back of the Right, so see there that there's still some flooring, some of the earth sticking through, so we'll just need to get rid of that before I do anything else. Because it really does bug me. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll just bring this out. Um, the reason I do this is I'll stick my solar panels on here, on the top. You know what? Take it this way as well. Can I knock on about the vent on there? So let's just stick it on the end here. And then weld those up. And they need to be doubled because they will be sealing my base effectively. So that allows me to add a load of solar panels along there. Hey. Next thing I need are walls. Uh, wall kits. Yeah, it's got straight wall kit. How many we're going to need? I'm going to need two deep, four wide. So that's two, four. Six, eight, plus eight for the room. I'm going to need 16. Now I've got plastic out here. There's a plastic inside. Plastic is inside and it, so is the glass. So while they're printing, let's just quickly go grab the plastic and glass if I can find it. There's glass. I've got plenty of glass. That's good. I can actually go in there. How much plastic do I have? 40, okay, I've got enough. Good. And I must automate this um, airlock at some point. 
How many have we printed? Ten. How many to say I needed? Sixteen. Two, four, six, eight. Plus eight, sixteen, yeah. That's twelve. Um, I am going to have to go mine some ore as well, I think. The time which I've got in my backpack there. Not a lot. Okay, that should be enough. So let's just go and... I would like to get an Amy set up at some point, which is like an automatic mining robot, but I've put so many holes in the landscape, I've got to go around and fill them in. That's why they end up falling into the holes. Then you lose it. And it becomes annoying. <laughs> the robot, I mean. You've got to hunt it down then. No, I don't want that one there, do I? So I want to change that. So where's... Okay. Uh... What I actually want is a flat panel, really. That'll do. Um, plastic. So the iron walls take iron to sort of as a second level to add the surround. These ones take plastic as a composite. Um, but obviously it then still does take glass. These should just be one sheet of plastic. There we go. And then glass. Remembering, of course, to not enclose myself. I do like this glass with a honeycomb effect. I think it looks better than just a... Uh, this glass, which is straight lines, that reminds me of a car wind, uh, rear windscreen. But I think this looks better, more futuristic. Okay, nearly there. One, that one. So they're all done, just double check before I go out. They're all done, that's done, that's done, that's done. They're done, they're done. Okay, so come out. Do this one. We do not power. I just drop the glass. And the plastic. And head back in. No, we need the crowbar. To remove our glass. And uh, it'll just equalize the pressure now. So the pressure's gonna drop, which means I need to drop some oxide. Bring the pressure back up. Glass. Take the iron sheets down. Be careful I don't take the floor out. I did that in the previous season. I took the ceiling out and vented most of my base. It was quite frustrating. Quite funny, but quite frustrating. And then just take these unusual walls down. Okay, now this is right in the way here, so I'm going to move this. Deconstruct this, everything falls on the floor. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's quicker. And I will stick this in the corner here. Oh. Let's make sure it's the right way. My favourite trick is to put them out. I need to be that way. And not sticking outside the wall. There we go. Yeah, my favourite trick is actually uh, putting them up the wrong way. Go in there, out the way. Go away. Don't like you. <laughs> Don't need these because you need them for... Yeah, uh, programming certain items. Uh, 
There we go. So we just made a little more space and the pressure's back up above 50 pascals, kilopascals. And the temperature's 25 degrees, which is really good. Uh, it's a good temperature for the plants and everything. These should all be growing really well, thriving. Oh, poorly. Why is that poorly? Too much light, probably. Um, in darkness, thriving towards... Where's the sun? Oh, the sun will come over and shine on here in a moment. Okay, so now we've got a bit of space for putting some ventilation in. Do I have pipes in here or not? No. Okay, let's... Go back out. It's off, yes. What do I need for solar panels? Let's look, look what we need for the solar panels. I've got a funny feeling I need some um, alloys for it. So, solar... Solar panel heavy. Um, I need copper, steel, electrum, and astro alloy. Astro alloy. Astro alloy. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, what do I need for astro alloy? Press the right button, fool. I need copper, steel, and cobalt. Uh, we'll keep pressing the wrong button. We've got 24 grams of copper there. So I need to go and get some copper. I need some more steel. And cobalt, we've got 70 grams of cobalt. So some more cobalt as well. I'd like maybe 100 grams of cobalt. 100 grams of copper. And 200 grams of steel. So let me go and do some mining. And I'll be back shortly. Um, just quickly, I thought I'd just uh, get jump in here. Damn, I'm going to have to go get some water. Um, this is with the lenders going with the ore scanner chip install. You can see the... This is fer FE for ferrite, which is met iron, basically. Um, you can see where each of the blocks are, where each of the nodes are within the ground. So it goes straight to them. Um, it shows you an area around you where you can see it's pretty much all you need. You can quite quickly find what you're looking for usually. Um, it, it just makes mining so much easier. Obviously you will reach a point where you mine everything out around your base, but by that time you should have a rocket up and running and be able to uh, mine what you need from space. Although you s it does need a lot of fuel. Um, obviously it's a, it's a bit cloudy, I guess you get like a cloudy look when you've got a scanner on, so you turn it off and you get a much clearer view. That's my base over there, so I need to go and get some water. Oh, Anna wants me to take a bath. Hygiene, so let's turn that on so we can see what we're doing. First things first, let's take some water. Uh, I don't have food on me here, I'll just use this. Uh, put that bottle back, turn that on, just fill it up. And now I need to um, strip off. So, helmet off, lenses off, spacesuit, jetpack, clothes, a mining belt. And come round to my shower. And stand in my shower. And there we go. That uh, dirty symbol has gone away. You just put all this back on again. Simple case of dragging it back on. It doesn't lose anything when you do this. There we go. So, three. How are we doing for power? Make sure we close our helmet. Swap our battery.
and I will go and get some more resources and I will be back shortly. Yeah, so um, I'm looking for copper at the moment, as you can see, I'm actually just at the surface here, but you can see what's quite deep underground, that, that the colour there, that sort of, I don't know what you call tan colour, is lead, this red is your volatiles, the slight bluey colour is oxide, um, that greeny colour there, that light greeny colour there is nitrogen, um, the orange is copper. So just let's dig down and get some copper. Yeah, you, know, you would never see this from the surface, so this is what these goggles do for you. They make you see, allow you to see what's underneath the ground and quickly go to it. Um, if I can get a heavy drill, which needs invar and steel, electrum, solder, and things like that, um, you can mine much quicker as well. Well, I can't get through, there's a bit in the way there. So I'm just digging my way to all this copper now. Um, I need a 100 grams of it, I did say, didn't I? And I'll probably get a little bit more, there's probably a bit more than that here. Just so we've got enough for building cabling, because we're going to need a lot of heavy cabling as well for the solar panels. I'll just put them all straight on the heavy cabling, that way there's no issue about them blowing uh, the light cabling. Um, so yeah, so once I've finished doing a bit of mining, guys, so we'll get back to you. Or if I come across something more interesting. Okay, we're back now. Um, I've just swapped out the battery and my lenders because they do go down quite quickly. It does go down quite quickly. Um, so first thing I need to make is steel. So let's just close some of this up. Turn our furnace on, make sure that's shut. Zero, zero, right, that's input. So let's get some pressure in here and temperature. That's got to be above 900. I must have left this with pressure in it before. That's so 900 now. Two iron. Another 50 iron and 50 coal. We're doing temperature wise, that's okay. There's a coal got in, and the last 50 iron ore actually gives us steel as long as we're still above 900. Oh no, we've dropped. Right. Let's whack that wide open, see if we can get the temperature up. Close that. So there's our steel. Uh, stick that in there. Now I need. 30 to 40 above 1k, right, so we're currently at 28.7 and below 1k, can we get it up to 1k in temperature? I don't think we're going to make it, um, and we need that. Two of those, let's just shift out the way. Two of those and our steel. What are we at now? 103, so let's... Dump that in. Whoop, that in, and then our 200 steel. And wait to see what happens. So for 1k, yeah. Let's do the vent smoke, and it's between 30 and 40. That's right, 30 to 40, 30 to 40 above 1k temperature. Nearly there. Temperature's good, pressure's good. Boom, there we go. So that's our Astro Alloy. 
That can go in there. And steel, so I do need some more steel. <laughs> well, I think I've got enough iron on me to make any more steel, have I? Um, any iron there? How much steel's left in here? 33 grams. How much steel do I need for each one? Okay, so I can rob the steel from here for the moment. And stick that in there. Um, we need 20 grams of copper. Yeah, I've got copper in there. Okay, I'll be back again in a moment. I need some more items. I need some more gold and copper. I've got 50 gold there, actually. Let's just use that. Make an ingot. There we go. And don't be stupid this time. Right, you can go in there. I need copper. And I was some copper around here, so I will quickly go and mine some. And come back. Okay, I've just been and got a, a, a about 150 copper, so that should be enough. So what's the temperature in here? Hydration critical. Let's sort that out. What I realise is the more you mine, the dirtier you get, which is kind of makes sense, I guess, because that's what would happen in real life. They're off on here. That's what would happen in real life, you know. Um, my back is flat. Um, you would get dirty mining. Thankfully, a little battery in there to keep my airlock working. Um, I need the gold. Where was the gold? You can go my backpack for the moment. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. And don't need you. Um, just this vented. No, let's vent this. Look, vent this. Look. Close that one. Vent like that one. Drop the pressure. Um, I've got any more coal on me? I believe I do. I just sick at 25 in there. Probably a bit of a. Oh uh, no, it is going to be overkill. Right, are we down? Yeah. Turn you off. Turn you on. See what pressure we get. Temperature. Good temperature. Good pressure. Not make the mistake of putting that in there. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. So that in there, that in there. Cables, heavy cables. Stop printing some of those. I believe we've got some over here. Four, yeah. I will need the glass. How much glass have I got left? Ten, so that's enough for two heavy duty solar panels. So, first solar panel, let's go. Ah, I don't want it. To Connection either side, I want it both once. Uh, I could do it that way, I suppose. 
Then I could run the... Yeah, let's... Do it that way. Power on this side, network connection on that side. That, and then I need five sheets with a welder, sheets of glass, sorry, with a welder, and that's our panel up and running. Um, and the basic configuration, I need to stop you. Um, solar, Heavy panel, have I got everything I need? Yeah, let's print another one of those. There's more glass there. Okay, so I've got enough glass. Um, what to come down here for? You centre kit. And then I need some normal cabling. through there. But you can go in here and this one can be printing normal cabling. It's not as quick as the electronics printer but it will do it. Um, so they finished, yep. Yeah. Uh, stop that, stop it. I see housing. Have we got everything I need for that? Yep, yeah, let's get an IC housing. So I'm going to use a chip to control the pointing of that solar panel and the next one I've got on me. Um, so I need an IC housing with an IC and I need a laptop. I'm hoping I've got enough for all of this, so I'm not sure. Uh, stop that. So. I see, and I need to chip that one. I've got everything for that, yeah. Stop for the moment. Now we got up with a chip. Don't print any more than that. Um, I see housing, where's that? There it is. Um, power on the bottom, network on the top, there we go. The daylight sensor. that way. Power. Coming up here. There's a chip. Laptop. Have I got everything I need for the laptop? Oh, perfect. Um, where's the uh, solar panel? There we go. Let's just get this up over here. Now with this side, power the other sheets, welder. Okay. 
cabling. So, uh, a recent ish update was to make it uh, more challenging to track the sun. Previously, you just used to track the azimuth across the sky, or the vertic uh, vertical across the sky. Now you've got to track the azimuth as well, so the how, where it is in the sky. So instead of just going right over the top, it now sort of goes like that. And to get the best power, you've got to literally track it. Uh, the easiest way to do that is with a daylight sensor um, and an IC. Is that laptop done? And to program the laptop, uh, the IC, you need a laptop. So actually, turn that off, don't need that on me. That can go away. Let's stick, stick a cable in up here, don't need that on me. Don't need the gold. Uh, where's my labeler? My labeler is inside. I'll quickly run and get my labeler. Power critical. Oh, critical power. Okay. There we go. Not anymore. Panic over. I've turned that off, haven't I? Yeah. Now, where did I put my labeler? Well, this bit there it is. And you'll put it somewhere. Um. One of these has got a flat battery, I think it's that one. So let's swap that out with that. How to food and water, oxygen, yeah, it's all okay. Might start complaining about the waste tank soon, but we can deal with that at time. So for the IC, it's got to have power coming in, and then the network side's got to be connected to what you want to control. So. I want to name things, so where's that label I just put? So that is solar daylight and solar sensor. It's firm, and they're just solar panels. They're the new thing connected on the network side, so it should be other than the solar panel, so. Other than the solar sensor, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, put that away. Where's my laptop? Oh, I didn't pick it up. Pick up the laptop. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this bit just in here. Just in case a storm brews up. Because I don't know at the moment. Open that. Put the chip in. Uh, I need a battery. I need a battery. Why don't I just put a battery in you? Um, and I need a program. Oh, I forgot I need the. There's a battery. I need the motherboard. I forgot about the motherboard. So, IC editor. Um, I see it on the motherboard. Oh, I can't bring that good. And that goes in there. Right, now, try again. Just put on the safe side in here. Drop it on the floor, open it. And click on edit. The alias. Um, solar sense d0 main uh, mm. I can't remember jump main so I almost forget um, load on zero on zero solar sense vertical load r1 Solar sense. Solar. I don't know. Spent that right. Sense. 
horizontal um, let me just check something solar panel heavy that one I need the prefab hash so that's copied edit save batch so that's save batch to the solar panels uh, vertical all zero so basically loading that value so what we're doing yeah this line is loading all zero with a vertical value of the Sun from the solar sensor this one is loading the variable R1 with a horizontal value um, this line then saves batch to the heavy solar panels that vertical number um, for R2 um, no what's it it is sub 90 R2 90 R1 so that's loading R2 with 90 minus R1 I think that's correct and we have to play around with this figure slightly I can't wait to 90 180 plus or minus but it's something like that it's just to get it to track through the other so the the you know the left to right and then say batch to the solar panels horizontal R2 so if I uh, confirm that export it take that chip put that away place a chip in here turn it on it'll flash orange currently because I haven't told it that R0 is a solar sensor now why aren't you moving it's just dual uh, that's the one I wanted apologies it's that number there so I need to pull a chip out drop my laptop oh that's not the best it'll do edit come on edit replace that number with that confirm export take chip out plug it in and there we go it was just a wrong prefab badge so let's Air tank low. close that put in a backpack or see we don't put in a backpack um, I think I'm 180 degrees out. The sun's coming up that way. So. Edit. So. Sub. So. Actually, it's putting all zero. Uh, 90 R0 confirm export what power we're getting 300 400 watts That's it. I think I just sorted. Oh Jesus, that was a pain in the bump. Always a pain in the bump getting this bloody thing to track. Anyway, it's done now. I've got it. I'm happy with that. Oh, that was lucky timing. Could you imagine if I had my laptop out? Right. Okay. 
Well, if nothing else, I should get a bit extra power from those wind turbines. That's off. Um, Yeah, so let's just see, do we have any water left in here? I haven't got a battery in here, I don't think. It's flat. Okay. How much water do we have in here? Eight litres. Okay, so we've got eight litres in there. Uh, no water in there effectively, okay, so we've... We do need to go and get some water ice. Um, because our plants are going to die like that. Damn it! Okay, I might just have to risk it and go out in the storm and see if I can find some water ice. Uh, water ice H2O is a... dark blue colour. So we're just gonna try and air some H2O and see some. We can't miss out. Might as well get it while we're here. I think that's a lot, yeah. off and there's our base. Whoa, try and miss the holes. Can I get up here? There we go. It's been one of those days today. That's better, we've got water back in there now. That plant is, these plants have died. They didn't even get any water. Load C to clear, there we go. That's annoying, I've lost a load of plants. Why have I got gas blown that way? Oh, it's just from this. It's on the bend. <sighs> okay, it's um try planting pumpkin again. Try plant the soya again. And try planting potato again. Thriving, thriving, thriving. Um, right, so that's blown through. Hopefully, um, these plants won't die. Right, now, solar panel. Heavy. I'm out of steel. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Um, not been as success as I hoped. Um, your pressure, turn you off, turn you off, everything else is off out here. Um, we've got two solar panels set up. Uh, we've got a basic solar panels probably damaged, so we're going to have to fix that one quickly. The purpose of these big ones is they don't get damaged by the storms.
but I am going to need more of them. As you can see, it produces about 400 watts each, so at the minute I've got 800 watts. If I fit 5 in here, that's 2 kilowatts. That should be enough to keep us going for the time being. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Dragonfire Gamer, wishing you good night.